welcome. My name is Stephanie Linhardt, Europe Editor at The Banker, and I'm here with Dusan Mamor, Finance Minister of Slovenia. Mr. Mamor, you know, you've won the um, European Finance Minister of the Year Award from us, from The Banker, this year. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. I'm honoured. That's very nice to hear. Well, you have won this award because, uh, because of your track record, including the, um, the ambitious privatization program, the uh, comprehensive reform package, supporting the economy while always having a look at the budget deficit as well. Now, the budget deficit has uh, reduced from 15% in 2013 to 5% in 2014, and is um, then meant to it was then meant to be 2.9% in 2015, but now it, it is even expected to be 2.5%. Now tell us, what's your expectations for 2016 and how are you trying to achieve this? Uh, there's practically not possible to achieve fiscal uh, consolidation without growth. And we were very lucky to have growth of nearly 3% in both years, in 2014 and until 2015. Now we are expecting a growth to uh, be a little lower at around 1.7%, uh, but still high enough actually to enable us further fiscal consolidation. So that in this, at the end of this year we would have around 2.3% deficit and next year 1.7%. All these policies together in a mixture actually enable us the growth of domestic consumption which is the goal, not just on the grow not just on the basis of exports, which was the case in the last two years, but also domestic consumption and uh, new investment in the corporate sector, which is of uh, paramount importance to have a sustainable growth. That's very good. Well, what other parts of the budget would you say are key points apart from budget consolidation? Um, in this year, what we really have as a priority is definitely security. So we enhanced uh, our police forces uh, with additional budget uh, expenditures and also uh, to a certain extent the uh, health sector because of aging population and, uh, and education. These areas for us are the ones that we want to support in 2016 and 2017 in order to gain uh, what uh, we expect. Mm -hmm. And we've mentioned the privatization program very briefly. Now, what would you say are the key targets for privatization for yeah. this year? Uh, we have a, a special system now of privatization. First, we have a decree by the parliament actually on 15 companies which should be privatized, and seven of them has been privatized, including the second largest bank. Uh, then we have strategy of managing state-owned assets where we have companies uh, put into three categories, strategic, important and portfolio. And every year out of portfolio uh, companies we, de we decide on how many will be privatized and which. And for this year we have 35 companies on the table, mm -hmm. uh, those pr the, these are those portfolio investments that we would like to d dispose of this year. Mm -hmm. Of the very important, the strategic ones, we've, we've also got the largest bank in the country, NLB. Yes. Um, what's the latest plan, timetable and uh, plan for privatization there? Yeah, privatization of NLB is also planned uh, to start this year, already in April next month and uh, that it should be concluded by the end of next year mm -hmm. and hopefully we will be able to do to close this deal successfully. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well maybe lastly you've already mentioned a few GDP outlook figures but what would you say is the outlook for 2016 uh, economically for Slovenia? 2016 uh, we expect that these good uh, trends from the past will continue especially in the field of employment which is growing for now for three years already two years and a half and this should continue also unemployment is coming down and we expect that it will stay well below the European average so it is at 9.1 percent at the moment so these two are definitely continued to be good trends. Then we will have current account surplus, 
Last year we had 7.3%. This year we expect even higher, uh, which is enabling deleveraging of companies. And we expect that companies will invest quite a lot next uh, this year. And uh, this, together with household consumption, which is already growing, should support the growth in next year, in this year, sorry. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Dusan Bramo, Finance Minister of Slovenia. Thank you for inviting me. Many thanks.